Apple is lying to us about ProRes. The iPhone 15 Pro Max has been out for about a weekend now and I had a lot of fun testing the iPhone's new USB-C capabilities. One of the highlights, recording ProRes videos at 4K 60 frames a second directly onto an SSD. However, just because the iPhone calls something 4K 60 doesn't mean that you always get 60 frames per second. I have investigated this issue for about two days now and I am pretty much convinced that this is a bug. If you see anything in this video, I got wrong, please help us to get a better understanding on what's happening together as a community. Here is what we know. According to the Apple website, the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 50 Pro Max can record ProRes 4K 60 when connected to a compatible external storage device. From a more different Apple page, we also know that ProRes 4K 60 requires speeds of at least 220 megabytes per second or in other words USB free speeds. So far, nothing new. When I first tested the new external recording capabilities of the iPhone, I used the supplied iPhone charging cable, which is a USB 2 cable. The iPhone detected the external storage just fine and offered me the option to record ProRes at 4K 60 to the external SSD. Quite surprised, I noticed a substantial delay between a recording stopping and the camera app getting ready for another recording. My initial assumption was that the iPhone was using its internal storage to buffer all the video before offloading it to the external storage. I didn't realize anything was wrong until I started an endurance test where I let the camera roll for 10 minutes in ProRes 4K 60 and the resulting 10 minute long video file was only 20 gigabytes in size. My goal with that test was to figure out how big the video buffer was when connected to a USB 2 cable, but the minimum video size of a 10 minute long video led me to dig a little deeper. Armed with FFmpeg and media info, I started taking a closer look at video streams and doing so, I found variable frame rates, or should I say random frame rates, when recording in 4K 60. And before you guys tell me that variable frame rates are a feature, I made sure to turn off that feature beforehand. Fueled with a new suspicion, I did a test, which I recorded in full time to document my methods. I programmed a motion head to keep the camera moving, so the camera's bitrate couldn't drop due to a static image, and I recorded the exact same motion using a USB 4 cable as well as the USB 2 charging cable. And sure enough, the video shot with the charging cable turned out to be shot in 16 frames per second and was also just 2 gigabytes in size for an almost one minute recording. I made sure to go back to my recordings and double check that in both recording sessions the camera was set to ProRes 4K 60 frames per second. But on the slower cable, the recording ended up at 16 frames per second and just a tenth of the size of the recording shot with the USB 4 cable. I'm quite certain that this is due to dropped frames, but at this point I'm not quite sure how to prove this theory. If anyone knows how to check for dropped frames on an iPhone, please hit me up. Some of you might also say now, duh, obviously you can't record ProRes at full speed when your cable doesn't allow for full speed. And you're absolutely right, but here is where the idea of a bug or feature originated. With the newly gained knowledge, I threw every storage device and every USB-C cable I could get my hands on at the iPhone. And what I found was that for every recording in which at least one component did not meet the USB 3 specs, we get a randomized frame rate readout. Either Apple is simply not checking for the speed of the connected USB storage, or I'm not seeing the bigger picture here. Then even on the Apple website, they are writing about a slow recording speed warning which this should definitely trigger, but it doesn't. By the way, for all the people getting hyped about David's findings that you can use SD cards to record ProRes, make sure that your SD card actually supports at least 250 megabytes per second of writing speeds, or you will just end up like me shooting ProRes 4K footage, which has inconsistencies in its frame rate. So what can we take away from this video then and how to move forward? If you have friends who are iPhone filming enthusiasts, share them this video or at least tell them the takeaways of it. Tell them that the iPhone will not warn them when the storage or cable or both are not meeting the minimum requirements for Apple ProRes 4K 60. 
In order to have a properly working setup, I recommend that you double check that your storage device is capable of at least 250 megabytes per second write speeds and you use cables of at least the USB 3.0 spec or even better, the USB 3.2 standard. I have also started experimenting with some USB 4 cables and so far they work fantastic. And they will also ensure that when the iPhone comes around one day and introduces ProRes 8K, they are still working. I have linked some USB cable and storage recommendations in the video description. If you want to support this channel, feel free to order one of them through Amazon and help me through the Amazon affiliate program. Once more, if you think I did not see the bigger picture here and mistook a clear feature for a bug, please enlighten me and help me and the community to better understand the Apple game plan. If you like this video, why not check out one of the videos here on the end card? I am Greeny, this is Greenbox. If you like this video, consider subscribing. And if you like to, I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.